uh, before morning skate. It was odd. He made a comment about how he didn't. It seems as though, and I'm paraphrasing here. I'll play it. I'll bring it up and bring it up. Yeah. It seems as though, and I'll introduce here. It seems as though he didn't love the way that his injury was covered. Now, I think it's really important in in you know if you're a Leafs fan, most of the clips that you're going to see or or written word that you're going to see is on video, right? Most of it's posted somewhere. So make sure you watch the video first. But I'm curious about what you think hearing this, watching this on the SDP, um, because he seems kind of ticked. Well, I... Uh, I'm going to pull up Steve's tweet. Yeah, this this <laughs> clip, um, I quote tweeted it, and then I posted the video. And people were like, see? And I'm like, yeah, it confirms the way it reads. You think so, huh? Oh, he's kidding around. Oh, yeah, he looks at... He just, no, he looks miserable. <laughs> He looks completely miserable. He'll he'll be back. Uh, looks like Saturday, by the way. <laughs> yeah. While we're setting this up, Morgan Riley should be back tonight against the Tampa Bay Lightning. And boy, I post you, a lot of you stuff. You tweet way too much. <laughs> I'm trying to support the business. Oh, it's my all gosh. agent provocateur. Okay, retweets. here we go. <laughs> you found it. Yeah. Holy shit! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to. I'll. We can read your tweet as well, and then just let me cue the video here. Okay. I still, by the way, as long as we're stalling for time. Unless Jesse found it. You got it. it. What do you you want to say? No, I was just going to say I I still like the idea of Marner on his own line. Okay. So this is what Steve said. This is the video. Uh, Watching it, he just seems ticked that people speculated as to what his injury was? Question mark? Who knows? There's a game tomorrow, and I'm sure everyone, Mitch included, would rather talk about that. And then let me bring up the video. Watch this video. Yeah. And then, by the way, they played a game and they won the game, and no one is no one's talking, talking about, about this it. anymore. Um, but I mean, it's it, worth it's worth mentioning. Well, watch mm-hmm. the clip. Watch. Here we go. How are you feeling? First practice in a while. Yeah, it's great. It feels nice to be out back out with the guys. Obviously, you know, um, we want to be around the guys and um, want to try to be helping out. So it's nice to be back out there and get a sweat with them. How close do you feel like you are to playing again? Yeah, um, it's close. So you know, just take it day by day. Uh, just keep progressing the right way and, you know, just be uh, ready when the time comes. When you initially got hurt, did you think you'd be out this long? Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, didn't really know what was going to happen. And, um, you know, it's kind of just been what it's been. Do you see any benefit, Mitch, in getting two or three weeks to, as you recover, at least recharge the battery to an extent before playoffs? Um, I think that's how you got to look at it because, you know, we're all competitive and here we don't want to miss games, especially... Uh, you know, this is this late in the season, so um, you, know, you can look at it that way, and that's how I've been trying to look at it. It's like a strange play when you got hurt. Like, what do you, what happened there? What do you recall? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been watching every game. You guys have been talking about it every single game, so I think you guys can, uh, you know, say whatever you want. It's behind me now. Um, you know, stuff happened, and, and kind of just go on from it. You of course went through an ankle injury back in 2019, 20. What do you recall about that? Because you came back pretty, pretty strong back then. So yeah, um, that's, you know, that's a compliment. Just, uh, it's a softball. Mental's good. You know, I'll let you guys speculate on what you think it is. So, oh. is it not? Is it not a high ankle? I don't sprain? know. It's, <laughs> hey, whatever you guys want to say it is, but um, you know, it's behind me now. I'm excited to you know, be back out here with the guys and. You know, competing with him again. Oh, shoving buddies, right? All right, now he's, let's he's there it kidding. is. That's a guy who's oh, kidding. Oh yeah, he's now, kidding and loving it. So, so everyone, okay. can Listen, we can we stop? I think people are entitled to a bad day. Uh, I think people are entitled to be grumpy, but I think it is important that you know you mentioned Steve Simmons talking about Darcy Tucker knowing where the commas were. Right, this mm-hmm. is where this all thread comes from. The reason I'm bringing it up is not to make Mitch Marner look bad. He's clearly frustrated. I like that he's frustrated. Actually, I to me the frustration. He's been pissed off all year and he's been playing fine. Yeah, well, and I think no, he he wasn't playing fine at the beginning of the year, right? Well, like, okay, yeah, sorry. He's been it, coming he, on since early December. He's been. Oh, I think he's been fake. Fantastic. Uh, a lot of Leafs did not have an ideal start. No. I think he's been fantastic almost all year. So uh, while I do disagree with that vehemently, uh, because sure. the first two months of the year, I thought he, he was not up to his part, even though he was still a point of game. I think that Mitch Marner has been a spectacular, like incredible Leaf when he's been on the ice this year. And off, I don't think anybody's going to disagree. Well. Off so, as well. But my, hold on. But my point is, I'm I'm concerned about like, when we make this show, who do we make it for? The fans. Maddie. Yeah, we make it for Maddie. <laughs> Maddie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We make it. So like most media, we don't make it for the players. 
I'm not like, it's not that I wouldn't be friends with a player, but like, I'm not like, oh man, I'm in the media. I hope, sure hope one of the players notices me. Like, I'm, it's not like, you know what I mean? And I know that there are certain media organizations and certain things where that makes sense, right? Where a player, you know, the media guys arm around the player, like, that's cool, like whatever. But, you know, when we bring up these things, it seems to be certain players really get bothered by them. And then certain players completely don't care. Mm -hmm. I look at, I look at, you know, Mitch talking about the media tells me he's blocking out the noise, but he's not. As he's mentioned many times, he blocks. And out the and noise. this is the thing, like, you know, is that I don't sarcasm, think, Steve. No, I'm t I'm saying what he said verbatim. He blocks out the. Noise. I don't think Mitch or the people around him and Friedrich has mentioned this a lot, not specifically due to Mitch, but just with mm -hmm. players in the past. Do not send this player clips. Uh, Do not send this player I've newspaper the articles. Times the people around him got to stop. Mm. They get they got to stop because like that any favors that to me helpful. it's like. I, I have to be honest, after Mitch went down, I thought it was business as usual. Like for us, and we're not, you know, the major TSNs and sports nets or whatever, even during the games, I don't remember the commentators talking about it all that much. I don't remember the intermission panels talking about it all that he much. He was in the upper, he was in the press box where as far as I know, they don't have the sound on yeah. because the game's going on beneath them. What do you mean you heard what he I said? I have like, what he you have like says, a, like a a uh, freaking ear horn, ear trumpet uh, go going up to... You're listening to what Chris Cuthbert said? Stop! When he says, I watch the games and I hear what you guys are talking about, my injury, and I have no idea what he's talking about. I like, don't either. I, I don't, don't think anybody did I talk about it. I don't know a specific instance where anybody was talking about his injury in like a negative way. But you don't have to talk about it. Also, it's not... Shit happens. No, it's all, right. All <laughs> anyone said was the first few games without him? Jeez, Leafs could sure use Mitch yeah, they right lost. now. <laughs> like, yeah. Leafs lost. could sure use Mitch right now. Yeah. I I don't understand it. Listen, someone uh, there's this is so, my back back to that. I think somebody must have sent him something that he saw some sort of clip and he got and they got to stop. It. Yeah, I think the thing is is that you know this is a this this year in particular is a, is a an important one for the Leafs because we're now seeing the maturation of the the core mm -hmm. three the, these young guys that are in their mid to late 20s now and need to succeed mm -hmm. and Mitch's contracts up in in like he can start negotiating with the Leafs July 1st which is not a big deal for most players but he's a star so we start talking about it way ahead of time exactly he's exactly. a star he's an extraordinarily good holy shit He's a great player, and the team needs him. <laughs> Send him this clip. Mitch Marner's fucking incredible. <laughs> I think. What else do you need? Yeah, All I right. think. I think All it's right. just. I think it's just that. My concern in seeing a clip like that, and again, everybody's entitled to a bad day, is, you know, a pissed off Mitch Marner playing pissed off. Great, that's awesome. But that's the kind of shit that you, he doesn't need around. Nobody needs He's that. Was, Nobody. David Kopp I've, doesn't need that around playoff time. Right. The the I I think a lot of people will disagree with this. Just leading up to Marner's injury, it's the best he's ever played. Yes. No. I was the, the best. Be the best Marner ever played is when he set the all time franchise record for a point streak. Well, uh, Jesse, I didn't get to watch that game. <laughs> so I, I mean, like uh, that I'm entire bitter about it. That entire stretch. No, I mean yeah. he. he I, you know what? He was really good during that stretch. I still disagree. I think leading up to that injury, mm -hmm. he was setting up plays. He's he's got a, a, a more versatile scoring touch than he's ever had. He was actually like finishing checks and hitting guys, and he's still responsible defensively. Um, I think getting him back, it's part of the reason that I think he can manage his own line just fine. Mm -hmm. The issue... And that's where I want to go, by the way. Expand on that. Well, the the biggest problem I have with it is who the hell plays center. Mm -hmm. Because if you're taking Domi off of Matthew's line to be Mitch's center, then what's the point yep. of having the three different lines? We, But I, I just think the depth on the Leafs would be crazy, and I think it would be a matchup nightmare to have all three of those guys on a different line. It's something that I don't know if they've ever tried, like even going back to when they were rookies. Mm -hmm. um, I like the Bertuzzi, Matthews, Domi setup. It'd be cool to see like Mitch, uh, Matthew Nyes, and I don't know who's going to play center on that. Why, why don't you pair him with JT? 
Well, I mean, you can spread the talent over three lines. Yeah, no, but then Willie is on a separate line. Yeah, but one of the one of the better lines in the league over the last couple months in terms of just owning the puck and owning the lion's share of scoring chances has been McMahon, Tavares, Nylander. Mm -hmm. But they did it earlier this season. Yeah, where we like, said John Tavares was on the quote third line. Yeah, there are so many options. There's yeah. there's lots and lots of options. You you yeah, you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Um, and I and I, I still and I still you... disagree about Mitch Marner's best time of his career. I think during those two months he was the best player in the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay, for like solid eight. Best best game suited for the playoffs. Ah, okay, all right, all right, there all right. Go. I like that. I'm excited about it. I think I think uh, you know that clip made a little bit of a stir, and then the Leafs won, and nobody talked about it. And and I and I think it is a microcosm of listen. You know, this is a guy that's been in this in this system for what eight, nine, ten years. Mm -hmm. um, After nine years ago, wow. Yeah. So wow. So you know, I can understand that there'd be a little bit of. Marner was drafted nine years ago. I know. All right. One one two minute soundbite in nine. A hundred percent. And there's been a couple of bits. Like you know, I can understand there being a little bit of friction. It's the end of the year. You're coming off a frustrating injury, and I, you know, I don't. I don't really care. I, I mean, I've, I figured it's an ankle sprain or a high ankle sprain. I don't really care what the injury is as long as he's healthy. Um, but it's going to be, this is, this is, and we've, we said this a couple weeks ago, this is a playoff that Mitch Marner really needs to establish himself as a playoff performer.